There are three characteristics of unentanglement. Firstly, it's random. You would never expect to see this person at that time and place. It could be on the escalators in Milan, in Italy, or it could be at the Wobbly Boot Hotel in Bogabilla in New South Wales. You would have never expected to see that person there at that time. You could not have planned it. Secondly, you never see them again. 20 years can go by. You could try to make them, meet them, but you, you can't find them again. It happens. Thirdly, an unentangled moment only happens really when the universe has collided somehow or other you're intersected with this person in an entanglement way. Some significant time has been spent with this person over a period of time, maybe a short time or a long time, but it's significantly, and then you don't see them for a while, and then you have the unentanglement moment. That is what those moments are special for. Here's a good example. This sign here either points traffic to the left or to the right. It's actually on the corner of Wentworth and Goldman Street in Sydney. And it's in this very building that I first met Jennifer. I was one of the helpers on this weekend when she walks in. I spent the weekend doing my best helping out for the weekend. Then at the end of the workshop weekend, we're all saying goodbye and Jennifer walks up to me and gives me this small piece of paper saying, give me a call. I say, okay, and had to explain to her that it wouldn't be for six weeks if that was okay because I had this commitment as one of the helpers for the weekend. She said, oh, okay. So I marked the, the date to ring her on my calendar in six weeks time and Eventually that came around and I gave her a call Monday evening, early evening it was, and she answered the phone and seemed delighted to hear from me. So we made a date for Friday to go out for dinner. I spent the week searching around a good restaurant to go to and found one on the water, picking her up and getting her to the restaurant. It seemed like a great time. And then sitting down she tells me that in that six weeks, she'd found a new boyfriend. As they say, bad news is best delivered early. We spent the evening at the restaurant then looking out the window and on the glasses and a little awkwardly. The food wasn't particularly interesting to us. And I drive her home and she invites me out for a cup of coffee and Frank turns up. He'd been out having a musical night and apparently he knew the new boyfriend and remarked in passing that he was not a very nice person at all. Jennifer didn't seem to take any notice. And so we listened to Frank talk about his music evening and when Frank left, I left too. Then about a month later, which is the unentangled moment, I was walking down the main street in Sydney, walking through the Queen Victoria building, when Jennifer comes by walking the other way. We stop and say hello and how are you doing? Very well, thank you. And wished each other well. And that was that. I never saw her again. That is the unentangled moment. By recognising these unentanglement moments by their characteristics, we were able to say everything we wanted in this very last lovely goodbye.